Hey now Take a step outside and seize the day now Hey, it's summertime and you may be coming down to Merle's Inlet for vacation and at some point you're gonna get hungry. So we're gonna show you some places where the locals eat at. That's right, and we're also gonna show you some new restaurants in the area. Are you hungry? I am. All right, let's go. It was a beautiful day, so we headed towards the Marsh Walk in Merle's Inlet. But that's not where we stopped. We drove through the Marsh Walk to get to the south side of Business 17. Because south of the Marsh Walk is where the locals eat. And that's where you will find Russell's Seafood Restaurant. A local favorite, but they also have a new outdoor deck. Okay, so we drove down to the southern side of Business 17, Merle's Inlet. This is where a lot of the locals go. Uh, but unfortunately, it looks like uh, Russell's is closed, as you can see behind me. Um, a lot of restaurants around here are closed on Sundays, which is hard to believe, especially in the summer season. But if you can see, you can see the deck that they put on. And we'll come back some other time and uh, try it out and have a nice meal outside. But for now, we'll have to go somewhere else. And that somewhere else was right across the street where you'll find Provisions and the Hot Fish Club, two other local favorites. We decided to head into Provisions since we hadn't been there in a while. We sat at an outside table, which had a great view of the marsh. I had the local flounder, and Sue had their seafood platter. Both were delicious. So we were disappointed that um, Russell's across the street was closed on a Sunday. But um, these two places here, the uh, provisions and also the, what's the other one? Hot Fish Club. Hot Fish Club are actually very popular uh, with the locals and it's right in the marsh. So it's really a nice, uh, nice place to have dinner. And the, the food is good, the food is reasonably priced and we would definitely recommend both. Plus, in the backyard of the Hot Fish Club, you'll find games and a gazebo bar. All right, so we're back at Russell Seafood. This is a very popular local joint, and uh, it is open. The only day it's closed is on Sunday, so we're going to go up and check out the new deck. You hungry? I am. All right, here we go. As you can see, this time the parking lot was full. We headed upstairs and asked for a table on their new outdoor deck. From the deck, you have a view of the marsh. And the deck is situated under a majestic live oak tree. It's a beautiful night here in Merle's Inlet. And the weather is perfect that you can sit outside, we get a nice breeze. And we're really, this is very unusual for this time of year because it's usually very humid. Not tonight. Our meal started with complimentary hush puppies. We love hush puppies. I enjoyed the local flounder blackened, and Sue had the grouper with crab meat. All right, so if you come down here and go out to dinner, you got to get flounder. Flounder's caught right here in Merle's Inlet and can't get any fresher than this. Delicious. Yum! We're on Business 17 in Merle's Inlet, just north of the Marshall Walk, and we're checking out a new restaurant, Fat Boys. Smoke Pit and Oyster Bar. That's right. This is the newest uh, restaurant uh, in Merle's Inlet that just opened early this summer. And the story goes that it's owned by a husband and wife who are professional chefs. And they were tired of the corporate restaurant world where profits always came above the quality of the food. So they decided to open up Fat Boys. And we're going to try it out tonight. And this is a barbecue place, but they also have Nashville hot chicken. And we know Nashville hot chicken. Yes. What do you think? It's a little spicy. 
spicy. A little hot. Yeah. Now the Fat Boys is in the old Whiskey Fish restaurant, which closed last year. We couldn't wait to check Fat Boys out and arrived early before the crowds. They have a great outdoor patio bar situated under an old live oak and they have live music starting at 6 p.m. each day. They have indoor and outdoor seating, but we decide to eat inside since it was a little humid. Happy hour is 4 to 7 daily, even at the regular tables. And locals get a 10% discount. You just have to ask. They smoke their own meat and have different barbecue sauces on the table. But we were there for the Nashville hot chicken, and that's what we ordered. But since it was happy hour, we started with drinks. Then tried their delicious happy hour Brussels sprouts. It's Brussels sprouts with, and this, the sauce is blue cheese, aloe, chipotle, blue cheese, aloe. So it, it's really good, very tasty, not too spicy, but spicy enough. They were Sue approved. Next came the Nashville hot chicken sandwiches. They come with one side. I had the homemade potato salad and Sue had the homemade chips. Time to dig in. All right, here we go. Is it as good as Nashville? Pretty close. It is hot. The, the sauce is hot. Very tasty. It's good. and got the pickles on there too. So uh, I'm going to enjoy this. I got the sauce on the side, so I just put a little bit. Let's see. Good. Uh-oh. Sue found it hot, even with adding a little bit of sauce. But we both really enjoyed it. And by the time we finished, the band was just getting started. So we hung around and listened to some classic tunes. Now here's one thing to remember. When you eat like a local, you have to support your locals too. Oh, thank you. I do appreciate it. Now we buy Ant Yeah. <laughs> That's what he That song by Tommy James and the show. That was good Nashville hot chicken. The chicken was tender, moist, and also had the, just the right amount of heat. Just like you'd find in Nashville. The pickles, the bun, they all came together to make a great hot chicken sandwich. It was as good as Nashville. The only difference is in Nashville, the chicken was a little bit more crispy. But other than that, I'd say it was exactly the same. And eating that sandwich, I felt like I was back in Nashville. Hey Sue, do you agree? I certainly do. Until next time, safe travels.